Hi guys, I'm back. I just did a quick walkthrough of the Mally products for you and now I'm going to show you how I apply them. So I'm just going to pull my hair back out of my face so that I can show you how I apply these babies. So first I'm going to start with the medium foundation. I'm going to show you the texture of that. You can see, I mean, I do think it's a lot like a BB cream. Do you like my cute little bracelets making noises? I started on moisturized skin, by the way, but I didn't prime it because this is supposed to be everything in one. And I do have a few little breakouts right now, so my apologies. So you can see instantly that does a really great job of evening out the skin tone. And now I'm going to go for the concealer. This is the Cancellation Concealer in light medium. And I'll use the brush that it comes with. And I'm just going to tap it into some more concealer to conceal any blemishes that I may have. And now I'm just going to re-tap in a little bit of concealer because I can still see some darkness right underneath this area of the eye. Tapping in there. For some extra coverage. I like to always get the inner corner of my eye, which a lot of people sometimes forget that area because a lot of darkness can hide there and it's a natural place for a shadow to go. So if you sort of anticipate that there's going to be a shadow there most of the day, you can really prevent yourself from having a dark spot there by adding the concealer. Now I'm just going to blend out a little bit the um, sort of super bright line. So you can definitely see that I do look well, well rested. And now from this point, what you're supposed to do is add the powder. So I'm going to use, make sure there's no shadow on that, just because I used the other brush for the blending. I'm just going to gently pat it on with another shadow brush. This is the Real Techniques brush. So I'm just setting it. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush and I'm going to use the gel blush just to show you in action the liquid face defender. Applying a little bit there, just like it's war paint, <laughs> and then blending it. And you might have seen me and thought, wow, she's packing on the blush. You could obviously use a lot less than I used. The reason why I'm sort of adding quite a bit of blush is because this is going to be a very minimal look for me. It's going to be really, really light. So I want like a rosy glow to be the focus Next, of it. Next I'm going to use the Trailblazing Brown Shadow Stick. Just showing you how I would normally apply it. Just like that. And you want to make sure to get nice and close to the lash And line. then what I would do is just smooth the product into the eye and soften the line. And you could obviously use your finger as well. But once it sets, it sets, so you really want to get what you want on there. And get out of there. So the other eye. You can see how fast this makeup application is. I mean, I'm explaining it to you. I'm already on the eyes and I'm only at seven minutes. Now I'm going to take my finger into the Gorgeois Gold and I'm going to use that as a highlighter for my brow bone. Multitasking product here. 
And then if you really want it to be fancy, you could take a little bit of the Gorgeois Glow just from the corner of your palette and get it right into the corner of the eye because that's going to wake up the face. Make you look more well rested. And of course, I just take the blush brush that I used before. And while I have it out, get a little bit of a gorgeois glow going on. The last step is eyeliner. Well, on the eyes before mascara, the last step is eyeliner. And just want to get a nice soft line going. Just want to make sure I am in the shot here. The eyeliners just melt onto your lids. Particularly this brown one does. The purple one is not as soft. But this, this brown one just melts right onto my lid. It's very easy to control. I can just get a soft line or a more defined line, whatever I'm in the mood for. So I'm going for a very angled sort of cat eyeliner without the wing today. And this is a great little makeup set, this little look that I'm doing today. It's really great for work because it's neutral and it's very natural, but it's going to stay put all day. I changed my mind. I'm just gonna do a tiny wing. Me without a wing. What kind of world would that be? And you could definitely just take a little bit of that liquidy liner there and a smudger brush. And just smudge out the corner for extra definition. I'm sort of joining it to the wing to accentuate the cat shape. And then of course I'm going to tap the wing into the skin just a little bit so that it's a soft wing. You can do that with a brush or with your finger. So you can see it has a big impact already. Next step is our gloss stick and this one's in flirty. And now I'm going to show you the mascara. So there it is, just one coat. It's a pretty big difference, and it's just very easy to use. The brush is stiff and wiry, but it isn't as sharp and sort of irritating as some of the other brands out there. And if I wanted to go in for a second coat, it would make all the more difference. So I'm going to just coat with a light coat on the bottom lashes just so that we can finish up here. And also the final product that I've been saving for you. And this is the product that's really the uh, big guns in her whole entire collection. And this is the Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. So this product is a clear gel that sets to a sort of cornstarch-like consistency, that very smooth velvety consistency. And it comes with a sponge and a mirror. It's a really great sort of application uh, in general, sort of packaging in general. But this product here will literally set your makeup all day and you will have no pores and no oil slicks. And what I love about it, it definitely gives you 
a sort of airbrushed finish. But what I love about it the most is that there's no color and there's not going to be any cakiness from applying this product because there's no sort of powder involved. So when you apply this, set your makeup with it, you instantly lose a lot of the pores. So guys, as a wrap up, I'm just going to tell you what my favorite products from all these products that I tried from Mali are. And I'd have to say my number one favorite product is this amazing, innovative, Evercolor Poreless Face Defender. There's just nothing else on the market out there like it. And if you're thinking about trying one of Mally's products, maybe you don't have a huge budget to try everything. Maybe you have like really oily skin and you're always having a problem with looking like you've caked on too much makeup by the end of the day. This is definitely the product for you and I highly recommend it. This is one that I'll definitely be repurchasing in the future. And then my second favorite would have to be the Mally Volumizing Mascara. I do really love this product, but for me it's a little bit tricky because I have a lot of favorite drugstore mascaras right now. So if I felt like spending a little bit extra on mascara, I would for sure repurchase this because it just has wonderful ease of use. It gives you really beautiful fanned out lashes. It really catches the inner lashes as well. And um, you don't really have to build it up that much. It's just ready to go in a couple coats. And then my other two absolute favorites are the eyeshadow stick in Trailblazing Brown, which you guys know, like, I don't even like brown that much, but I do really love this shade of brown. It's just so pretty and, like, a medium taupey color. And then I absolutely love the Evercolor Ultimate Waterproof Eyeliner in Espresso Lane. It just melts. Like, this eyeliner just, I'm barely going to touch. It just melts right on your skin. And if you give it a little bit of pressure, you're going to get a much darker line as well. So I love this. I do really enjoy all these products because I feel like I can get a completely finished look in a very short amount of time. So I can just kind of throw these, here they go, right in a bag. And I've got my whole face in a bag, which is really super convenient, especially for people who are kind of on the go all the time, moms, students, working women. So I do love it for that, but I have to say, um, just so that I'm honest with you guys, my least favorite product will have to be the Cancellation Concealer, and I think that's a pretty unusual opinion because most people really, really love that product. So it wasn't the right product for my skin tone, but um, there's my honest review for you guys. Anyway, um, I hope you guys are all having a really great day. I hope this has brought Mally to your attention if you haven't heard of them before. And if you were debating buying some Mally products, maybe this answered some of your questions or helped you see some colors via color swatches. So I hope you guys are all having a really fab day. And I wish you all a wonderful rest of your week. If you really enjoyed this video or if you'd like to see more looks and giveaways coming up soon, feel free to hit the subscribe button right above my head. It is free and it means a lot to me when you guys subscribe. So I'll talk to you guys all again soon in the next video. Bye for now, loves.